Hello and welcome back to Diary of My Frugal Life. Today is Monday and this is the beginning of another Meals of the Week video. Today we are eating um, eggs, uh, bacon and chips. I uh, am using a focaccia bread where I made um, the bacon and egg sandwich with a little bit of uh, lettuce and tomato and I'm serving it with chips. I hope to see you tomorrow for another Meals of the Week. Today is Tuesday and we're eating roast chicken. Uh, as you've seen, uh, um, the chicken um, I showed you and I'm serving it with these sliced potatoes I received yesterday free from Olio, so that's why I didn't make any roast potatoes. Um, I put the chicken on top of the um, half of uh, the gigantic Yorkshire pudding that I received in my uh, last Sainsbury's order uh, and I got some sauce, chicken sauce uh, on top of the chicken and the Yorkshire. Um, yeah, I didn't make any salad because I didn't have time. Um, so yeah, just wanted to tuck in and eat these. See you tomorrow. Tonight's dinner is spicy chicken wraps. I started by uh, putting some olive oil and garlic and half uh, of uh, onion into a frying pan. I added some of the roast chicken from yesterday that was already in a spicy sauce. And as you can see, I'm adding that sauce uh, in the pan as well and adding a little bit of beer to create a more spicy uh, sauce. Um, Now to the wraps, I added some salad, so some lettuce and tomato. I also added some jalapenos to mine because I like it, but my son doesn't like them. Now I'm adding the chicken and I will top the chicken with some grated cheese. Uh, I then I wrapped everything like a, a burrito. I sliced the, the um, wraps in half. I served the wraps with um, crispy potato slices that I received free from Olio. I had received the two packs and I used them um, during this week's meals of the week. Thursday and I am going to make a chicken pie. I am making my chicken pie from scratch and I'm going to start by making the dough. Uh, now I went to get my recipe book because I, I don't really know the quantities by heart because I don't make the dough very often but I never buy dough for pies because the only dough I buy is puff pastry because I don't, I don't make that. I think it's too complicated to make. But this one is so easy that there is no need to go and buy it. And it's cheap to make as well. Now, you need flour, you need butter and some uh, cold water. Uh, the best is to use actual butter, but I had to pop into Lidl because I didn't have any butter and I bought this one. Uh, it's fine, it will work as well, so don't worry. I'm going to make my dough um, in my food processor because it's easier. But you can uh, do it in a, um, a mixer or even by hand with a, a spoon or a spatula. So I'm going to start by measuring the flour. I'm going to use plain flour. And I will need 225 grams of plain flour. Okay. I'm going to put the flour in my food processor. Let's measure the butter. You need 100 grams of butter. Perfect. You 
you need three tablespoons of water. I prefer to do it whilst I'm already mixing. I'm going to turn this on. So I'm going to add another spoon of water. So it took five uh, tablespoons of water to make the dough today. Sometimes it's a little bit less, it really depends on the flour. Some flour will get more uh, water, some flour needs less water, but that's fine. And I'm just going to show you. The elastic is really good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these to rest in the fridge as I make my um, pie filling. I'm just going to pop it here and in the fridge. So this is the chicken that is left over from my roast. And I'm going to use these to make my pie filling. So I cut all the chicken into small pieces and I reserved all these sauce from roasting the chicken because it's full of flavour. In my pan, I added a little bit of olive, olive oil, um, a bit of garlic and uh, half an onion. And now I'm going to add my chicken. I've got my cover done, I've got the base, I've got the chicken here. Uh, you can hear my oven because I'm preheating my oven uh, and now I am going to put the filling inside in here. I'm going to do the filling now. So you can see it's quite hot, it's fine, it's not a problem. So 
just make sure that you spread the filling as much as you can and now let's do the, the more difficult part covering my pie always find these a little bit tricky and I put them on the over there now I am no professional uh, doing this pie this is a homemade pie made by me but still very delicious now I never cut whatever is left from the dough first because I don't like waste and anyway this is for us at home this is not for a special occasion it's not for guests if it was for guests I would have cut it because it's not for guests I don't mind I'm now just making some cuts on the dough so the dough can read I'm gonna put this in the oven Today is Friday we were supposed to eat fish cakes with mashed potato uh, but instead of taking the fish cakes from the freezer I decided to take these chicken gifts and um, so that's what we're eating um, and I'm adding a slice of bread underneath my chicken gift because I fancied it. Uh, see you tomorrow for another meal of the week. Today is Saturday and uh, I went off plan because I had some bacon that I needed to use and I also need to use up my eggs. I need to use up my eggs before I go on holiday. So I decided to um, serve a bacon egg sandwich uh, on a focaccia bread and I'm serving it with some french fries. See you tomorrow for another meal of the week. Today is Sunday and it's the last meal of the week. We are eating a fry up. I've got uh, um, a fried egg, um, baked tomato, uh, three onion rings, two ash browns, one sausage. And I also wanted to eat some um, buttery bread. I made the bread today, so it's homemade bread. Lovely. My son is eating three sausages, three um, onion rings, two ash browns, and one fried egg as well. See you tomorrow for... Uh, Oh, this is the last meal, so I see you next week for another Meals of the Week video.